Hello, welcome to my Xbox 360 FIFA 11 review, Manchester United, which I absolutely hate, with me being a Chelsea fan. Remember to rate and tell me your favourite football team in the comments below, and tell me how crap Chelsea is, because I know a lot of people don't like Chelsea. I am Akron and Stanley for this game, and I am playing away, and I will show you the first half of this match. Oh, ooh, well, FIFA 11, well, it doesn't really change much each year, being a keeper is really, it's alright, but not good considering when being a pro came out, it was either FIFA 8 or 9, everybody was like, why can't you be a goalkeeper, as soon as it comes to FIFA 11, no one likes being a goalkeeper, so all of that asking to be a goalkeeper for no reason, well, for no apparent reason, uh, what gets better every year? Well, Ultimate Team gets slightly better each year, the squads get updated a bit and the graphics get better. The main one is the graphics, you look, you might not see a change between, oh shit. Offside here. Oh, offside. Well, if you look at the difference between FIFA 10 and 11, you might not see much. But if you look at the difference between, let's see, FIFA 11 and FIFA 9, there's quite a big difference. So, I would say FIFA 11 pretty good. Um, good for a cheap. Well, most speakers are good for achievements and trophies, so I haven't really talked about them much in my videos so far, because I haven't really had much to talk about achievements and trophies. Get some videos about them coming up soon. Um, remember, this is a Gaming Zone 1 dot webs video, so remember to come to that website. Um, Oh, I quite like FIFA. I'm not really bothered about getting FIFA straight away, but now that I'm doing the website and that, expect FIFA 12, which I guess will be coming out on October the 1st again. Get in! Celebrations on FIFA aren't too bad. Not really a big fan of them. It's alright if you're on a good difficulty where you don't score many goals, good to celebrate. The thing that I would like to see in FIFA is be able to punch the referee because the amount of people which have threw their Xbox out the window or chucked the Xbox controller off someone's head because the referees give them a red card is appalling. So why can't they just have the chance to punch a referee in the face? I think it would make FIFA much better. Make it a lot more fun. They would have to bring out two FIFAs, a 3 plus version and a 15 plus version, but I wouldn't mind seeing that with FIFA. Remember I'm only going up to half time, this short video. I think the graphics on FIFA are pretty, really good. I would say at the moment this game isn't as good as the other games I have viewed. Maybe it's because I am a big fan of football, a big fan of Chelsea Football Club, which write in the comments below for how crap that team is, because no one really likes Chelsea unless you're a Chelsea fan, really. So, that's really... What I'm saying, um, whatever football team you support, you can write down there. Um, just thought maybe I'll point out that I'm not really a big fan of the football games myself. Don't mind them for collecting a bit of achievements. That's why I don't normally get it the first year, first day or week it comes out. Maybe it's wait till the second year and get it a year behind for like one, two pounds. Which that's what I think is the best. Well, also an improvement on FIFA. It tells you the shots, possession, base lines pop up in the corner, and tells you how far players run and how well he's done when he leaves the pitch. So 
I have to think and look out for. We've popped up before when the Sharks. Nine to Akron and Stanley. Three to Manchester United. The score is 1 0. Saved by Van der Sar. So, I would give FIFA 11 in 92%. So, there we go. Yeah, this is a, was a Gaming Zone 1 production. As we are about to end the first half and the end of the video, and Akin and Stanley beating Man United 1 0. Join us for the next video.